Okay. Which of the following medications was most likely taken by the friend during her pregnancy? Isotretinoin, methotrexate, phenytoin, thalidomide, or warfarin? A 28-year-old woman who was 32 weeks pregnant comes for a prenatal visit. During the appointment, she expresses concern about a friend who took a medication during pregnancy that caused severe birth defects in her baby. The friend's baby was born with limb abnormalities, including shortened limbs and missing uh, or underdeveloped fingers and toes. Which of the following medications was most likely taken by the by her friend during pregnancy? Okay, so all of these can cause issues. Um, the, the thing here right now, I think the biggest thing is we're looking for is something with limb abnormalities. Um, the biggest thing right now is I believe it's thalidomide just because I think of, that's what I think of when I think of, um, um, limb abnormalities in pregnancy. Um, phenytoin is more, uh, along the lines of, um, let me see, I'm a, the, like, um, neural tube defects, um, methotrexate is going to be more of like a stillborn baby. Um, so that's, that's going to cause a, um, an abortion. I saw tretinoin I know is bad. I don't know necessarily what it causes in pregnancy, but I don't think it causes um, limb abnormalities. And warfarin is also very bad. So I'm going to go ahead and say thalidomide is my final answer. Yeah, so good. Thalidomide, like the, you know, the old flipper babies, right? Yes. Um, obviously, we don't use that anymore for um, nausea because obviously having a flipper baby versus having nausea in pregnancy is probably not a good trade-off, right? <laughs> yeah. So definitely don't do that, right? Isoretinoin, right, it, which is usually for severe acne, especially the the oral or IV version, right? You're going to get very, very bad abnormalities, right? Mexotrexate, right? Um, you, you know, it treats a bunch of autoimmune disorders, right? Um, but lots of issues, right? Especially neuro tooth defects, okay? And whenever you think of neuro tooth defects, you're thinking of, you know, spina bifida, right? acephaly right so no you know no head right things like mm -hmm. that right and then phenytoin right you get craniofacial abnormalities you get gross restriction and developmental delays warfarin right um this is hypoplasia you know cns issues right um all these things right but no limb so limb is very specific for the uh thalidomide okay